The tail of tape for this lightweight bout features Isaiah Flores, 20 years of age, 5'8", 158 pounds. I think he made 157, actually, in the second way in. The second way in. And we've got Jose Sotero, 30 years of age, 5'8", 155. Pretty identical. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the APFC lightweight division. Sponsored by Next Level Gamer Shots. And don't forget to bet the pro fights at betonline.ag. And now fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with red, he stands five feet, eight inches tall. Official weight, 158 pounds. He comes in tonight with a record, two victories with one defeat. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Isaiah. The Bulldog, Flores! And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with white. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. Official weight, 155 pounds. He comes in tonight with a record. One victory, no defeats. Fighting out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, Osue Sotero! And your referee in charge, Chris Claviter. See a little intensity on uh, Isaiah Flores, and, and on the other side, you've almost got the yin and yang. You got, you got Jose Sotero, very calm. You know what? I know this is an red MMA red event, red. but I feel like this red is going to be a fight. Banger. I, yeah. I got the feeling here. You got Jose Sotero, Jose Sotero, black and white trunks, black and red by Isaiah Flores. Nice. Sotero jumping in, throwing that kick right away. Sotero responding back here. Hey, two knees, strong knees, very strong knees. Jose Sotero, exchange of kicks by both fighters. I'm nice liking the patience play. I'm seeing by Flores. Just throwing that kick up there ever so smoothly. And transition and beautiful. You saw his opponent almost took him down. He didn't panic and just didn't settle for the position. He kept moving. Sergio, you see the angles that, that, that Isaiah's throwing his punches and kicks in? He landed a real nice uppercut. And every single time you see Jose enter the exchange, Isaiah takes a different angle on the counter. Yeah, yeah, he's very educated, man. Like I said, he's got the wrestling, he's got the striking, as you're seeing right now. Look at that deep, deep double leg. Beautiful take him double leg. Yeah. Straight to control. He's very educated. Um, full game. Well, Isaiah's got like the, the, the grit of a Mexican fighter, but the pedigree of a wrestler, which is something that's very rare in a, in a fight game. Yeah, and these kids actually wrestled when they were younger, too, so they. In a real Mexican, from yeah, Mexico, yeah. speaks Spanish. Yes. So he can jab with that high guard up there, trapping them, trapping the arms. Look like he's gonna maybe try to transition to an arm bar. Maybe get his hips out to, to a side. Ooh, nice Ooh, nice. nice there by Flores. That's the one thing, I mean, you kind of noted earlier about Flores being aggressive, but he's also patient, right? It's a calculated aggression, even in a bad position. Heavy, yeah, very, very smart, smart. Yeah, he's a very smart yeah. guy. Sotero, 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 Sotero coming Sotero. forward, still Sotero. pressuring. Sotero continuing to fourth, applying the pressure. I love it for both guys, man. This is great. Flores continues to counter punch. That's a body punch, upper cut by, by Flores. Again. Very high pace fight to start off here. Sotero marching forward, throwing shots. Isaiah countering, staying pa patient here. This is going to be a high level chess match, hopefully. Hopefully for three rounds. I'd love to sit back and watch this one. Yeah, yeah, man. This yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. High yeah, level high pace. We're going to see what cardio is all about. Ooh, nice little. So okay. Terry's doing a good job at us, throwing up these subs right away, man. Very, very aggressive. He went the wrong way at the arm bar, but he certainly went for it. Flores here in a good position with Sotero. Um, has his back against the wall here. Has the underhook. Ooh, look like we got a low. Ouch. Low. Sotero delivers a low blow to Flores. Buying himself a little bit of time. This is a high cardio. There's a high volume of cardio happening on, on both of these gentlemen. On both these gentlemen. So Flores gonna get, what, five minutes here to kinda to take care of himself, you know? Those low blows aren't fun if you've ever been. <laughs> oh, had a few multiple of those times, surge. multiple times. I got a diamond cup now, so I'm, I'm good, but. Di diamond cup, nice plug there, oh, Sergio. Yeah, always, always. <laughs> Shout out diamond cup. Right, Isaiah Flores. I, I think this break may have helped Sotero more than it did Flores. Well, gentlemen, these guys so want to stand right in range. You know, they don't. No one looks forward to taking a step back here. Right in punching range. Sotero with the knee to push aggressive. forward. Over here, right by Sotero, moving forward. Isaiah sticking with the counter punch, left right punch. 
Flores measuring through that jab out there, looking for the right hand. It looked like he threw the jab a little off the center. Um, Sotero coming in, though, that aggression has been his calling card so far. Sotero getting a little bit more wild on his entries with those punches. He's going to have to hide them a little bit better when setting them up on the, uh, when closing the distance. Flores ending up here in a, in a dominant yes. position. Sotero against the wall. I mean, that was a, an aggressive round. That was yeah. very, very sporadic fight so far. Sergio, if you're Sotero's corner, what, what advice do you give him? I mean, honestly, I, I tell him keep doing the same thing. He's got to make this fight dirty. He's fighting a, a younger opponent. So, you know, obviously being the older man, he's got to go on there, manhandle him a little bit, try to just keep that pace on him, um, overwhelm him. Here we go, Flores in on that shot. Nice double leg here, locks the hands up behind the butt, pushes against the cage, gets Sotero down. And just right there on top position, Sotero closed guard, looking to land some punches. Now we're back on our feet here. Now we're back on our feet here, we got Flores moving off center, countering with the right hand as Sotero comes in, then gets Sotero with his back against the wall here. Good dominant position, much how, like how he ended the round here. Yeah, both corners exiting a ring. Like I said, we've got two very story camps between the two Rufus Sport, Sport versus the Lee brothers. We got Mike and Chris Lee, all the way from Fort Wayne. Jesus Cowan as well, in the corner of uh, Sotero. The referee is giving a lot of instruction right now. Who's going to be ready? Very well, kind of frenetic pace from Sotero. I don't know why the referee is. More, more of a calm aggression by Flores. We'll see which one weathers oh, the storm. You know, at the beginning of the fight, Sergio, we had pointed out that, that you saw the bulldog, Flores, pace back and forth. There's a calm demeanor of Sotero, but Sotero is the more aggressive of the two. Oh, head kick. Beautiful, beautiful exchange of head kicks. Both of them landed, actually. Flores is an effortly throws so that kick up there. Flores. Return by Sotero, kick to the body by Sotero, raising the cup once again. I, I, you know, either you take a point or you give a hard warning. It's not, they're not heavy punches, but Sotero's gonna have to raise his, he's gonna have to raise his kicks. I think it's Sotero's a little bit tired right now and his kicks are dropping. I don't think they're intentional, but they are like and much like everything he throws, he's kind of just throwing with ill will and not really aiming and targeting. 100%. So, yeah. Sotero, heavy right hand punch, duck under by nice. Flores. Nice yeah. takedown. Flores making the adjustment there. Moving, 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 getting to the leg, getting Sotero down to the mat here. And that's the best part about having a full game, you know, not just being a striker. He's got the full game, got the entry, so. Beautiful, beautiful play. So, you know, you, you had said Sotero needs to make it dirty. I mean, that's, that's Isaiah Flores. That's what he's been doing since the beginning. I think Flores is as clean and dirty as you can get. He yeah. has the aggression. Yeah. He can come through. He can throw. But he's very tactical, and he throws everything and doesn't waste any space. Whereas Sotero, on the other end, he's like, I'm going to throw everything but the kitchen sink at well, If you look at it, it, Isaiah's record, he's 2-1. Uh, His one loss is to a guy named Steve Collins out of Gilbert Grappling. Steve Collins is legitimately very talented. And he, he lost by decision. Like, for him to even get to a decision against a guy like uh, Steve Cowan speaks volumes of the type of fighter that uh, Flores might be one day. 100%, especially at the age of 19 years old, man. Yeah. You know, young kid. Game's changed so much from when I was younger to now. It's a, it's a full game now. You know, Sergio, your first fight was at the age of 15. Yes, sir. I'd like to talk to your mom about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she wasn't so fond to that. But, uh, I'm sure she's loving it now. That's the interview you want. <laughs> Sotero just kind of sitting here in this arm bar position. Look for Forrest to maybe shake and shimmy and try to get that arm out, hopefully, um, before it gets too extended here. He's, he's getting kind of close. He's cinching it pretty deep. A little extension with the hips. Talking about Sotero, cinching it pretty deep on the arm of Isaiah Flores. A little bit of a break. It's been a, a, almost like a frenetic pace up until this point. I know we've, we've almost been spoiled a little bit, right? Just been seeing them go back and forth and just kind of see them rest in this position. I wouldn't even, this is a, a fight here. The fight is still happening here, but we're so used to that other pace. We're like, man, let's get back to it. But you have to appreciate the versatility of both ends here in this fight. 
Sotero doing a real good job. He's a live dog still. He's a live dog. I think he just needs to hide his entries a little bit better because uh, Flores just keeps picking him up. Nice body shots there by Flores on top. Just scoring points, keeping good position. You saw him kind of even smothering the mouth there. That's a, that's a veteran move right there when you're on top. Yeah, now let, let, let's look at the labor breathing. Oh, hey, look at look at that Flores. Helping his opponent up, Sotero up. Man, he better than me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to catch your breath at this point, right? <laughs> Here we go on the replays. We got Sotero coming in, just marching forward. Flores changes the angles, look for the shot, sits him right to his butt, and, and just kind of goes to work here, solidifies the position. Um, right here on top, Flores, once again, just kind of locking in that top position. Peppering in with some shots, nothing too crazy, not expending too much energy. Body, going to the body, going to the head, smothering the face, breaking up the breathing patterns. I like what I see there on top. Instruction there by Scott Fishman, uh, a, a veteran trainer, one of the best striking trainers here in Milwaukee, if you ask me. Huh? If you look at the corner of Sotero, you're going to see a sense of urgency. Both Lee brothers were... Like I see reading their fighter the riot act, but they were stressing that this is it. Like he's down two rounds right now. The third and final round. Our referee, Chris Claviter. I think Sotero, he's gonna have to be a little urgent, but also hide it. Ooh, left right punch, attack. Left, right punch again, in for a takedown is so terrible. Coming in, you know, you're sticking to the game plan. March forward, throw punches, throw kicks, throw strikes. March forward, throw punches, throw kicks, throw strikes. Uh, going to the shot, which is a little different approach so far. Well, he had to change it up. But every single time they're in this position, Isaiah gets the takedown. Isaiah defended that initial shot, and he didn't just stop there. He didn't. Defended the shot and looked to reattack, and that's how he ended up on top. Um, chain wrestling, chain grappling, much like you, Serge, you're a striker. You talk, chain striking, right? Yes, like, sir. that's kind of the key to the game when it comes to MMA, being able to tie and connect everything together. 100% for MMA. So, Tara, right now, you got two minutes left in his second round. He's going to have to even put himself in a worse position to get himself in a better position, because if he's... Plans on riding a round out like this on his back, you, you can't expect to win a fight. You know, we haven't really saw Satiro, much of Satiro's game off of his back, but he was in a good arm bar position earlier, and if you know anything about fighting, jiu-jitsu saves its lives, right? You have high-level jiu-jitsu, <laughs> yes. you can be in a bad position one, um, one at one moment, and then the next you can turn the tide here. So we'll, we'll maybe be able to see if Satiro can solidify a submission off of his back. You also got to think, how tired is he now? You know, after you know the first two rounds, he's pretty active. A lot of, lot of it, There was a frenetic pace. Yeah, yeah, there definitely was. You pointed it out earlier. Yeah. Isaiah doing a good job getting wrist control. Isaiah catching his breaths, catching his breaths, and just nickel and diamond the time. Right now, he's just looking at the clock and trying to ride this round out. And he's done a, a, a lot of work here. He's, he's earned this position right, to be on top. He, the onus here is on Satiro to prove that he can win this fight Absolutely. within the next 60 seconds. Um, really, all Flores has to do is just stick to his game plan. He's been getting solid positions, peppering shots. He's in a dominant position here, and he can ride this off into the center. If you look at Sotero's corner, they're yelling, they're yelling. It's an intense corner over on the Sotero side. He's telling them, just get up. And Sotero listened. I mean, you got to hand it to him. It's the second MMA fight. Flores doing a good job pinning him to the cage here. Now he's look for him to pick a side. There we go. He's going for the single leg. Switches back double. Gets Sotero back down. It takes the back. That was a slick transition there. Wrestling is the uh, the difference maker of this fight between these two. Yeah, they're, they're pretty equal on their feet, but wrestling is that, in, that missing ingredient on Sotero's side. We talked about how young Flores was, but I see nothing but experience when, yes, I, when yes. I look at his grappling transitions, his striking, and just going from one move to the next to the next to the next, and it's been very beautiful to watch. Sergio, I think one of the, the, the things that we can take away from this fight also and on Flores' side, rather than riding up the round and coasting, he finished strong. Yeah, for sure. Flores is a, a go-getter, man. He's going to go out there. He's going to try to finish this fight. Um, beautiful, beautiful experience for him. That was great. Tough opponent, uh, 30 years old. I think it was a great, great, great job. Yeah, with, with 30 years old, 20, there was a big difference in 
Here we have the replay with Flores doing some work on top, just peppering in those shots. Good position, good hit position, hanging out in half guard here. As I said earlier, the onus wasn't on him to really impress. He really just could nail down the position and go to work. Um, kept, kept him against the cage here, picked his side, not trying to force the double leg. As a wrestler, I love to see that a lot of times people are forced to double. He transitions to the single and then goes back to the double. Beautiful back transition. We saw a little bit of everything here from Flores. Man, there's not one position that we didn't see him tactically approach the fight. Depends on their performance, and they're, they're trying to pick up on it. Uh, we're going to make this one official and send it to a ring announcer, Michael Hansen. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the scorecards for a decision. And our first judge at ringside scored the contest 30, 27, Flores. Another judge had it, 29, 28, Sotero. And our third judge at ringside scored the contest 30, 27, for your winner by split decision, Isaiah Flores. Yeah, split decision. I'm a little surprised on that, to be honest with you. Well, martial arts like any other.